Hi, chat. Hello. Hello, chat. Oh, boy. Today's gonna be fun. Today's gonna be fun. Oh, what a day. What a day. I hope everyone is doing well today as it said in the oh god <laughs> just bent over with anyways hi i don't like this little cam <laughs> this little cam you can see how bad the quality is i'm just gonna well <laughs> anyways hello also my hair is a mess we don't talk about it but <laughs> Today, today is a fun day. For you guys who didn't know, one of the first variety uh, one of the first variety streams I did, so like a non Minecraft stream, one of the first ones that I did was uh, the Stanley Parable, and it was one of the most fun streams I think I ever did. And chat was great; it was amazing. I loved it. So today, we're revisiting the Stanley Parable. Today, I'm going to be playing the Stanley Parable Deluxe. Ultra Deluxe, I'm sorry. Uh, again, sorry for being late to stream. Did I already say that? I don't know. But sorry for being late to stream. It wouldn't load. I bought it yesterday. And it just would not let me see it. It kept saying I didn't buy it. So I, <laughs> I had to reload Steam so many times. But I got it. I got it downloaded. I'm excited. I'm gonna go ahead and let it launch. I don't know how loud this is gonna be, so headphone warning in case it makes a really loud noise. Game capture. Whoa, whoa! Okay, wait, this is not, it's the wrong size. Okay, let me fix the size of this. Ah. I want to make sure it's the right size in case there's something you all need to see. Okay, there it goes. Hooray! Also, I don't know if I should turn the music off. Did I have the music on last stream? I don't think I did because there's a lot of talking. So I am going to have it off unless somebody wants it off. Ooh, cool sounds. Okay. Choose a screen and subtitle language. English. Yes, subtitles. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? Real quick, I am going to retweet my going live tweet. If you're here, uh, retweeting it would be really appreciated. My reach on Twitter is awful. <laughs> that would be very much appreciated. Uh, but yeah, if you could retweet it or tweet out that I'm playing the Stanley Parable Deluxe, please do. That would be very cool and awesome. And yes. Oh, I hate my hand. Anyways. Have you played the Stanley Parable before? Yes. Please adjust the slider until the computer is barely visible. Is that good? Let me turn it up a slight amount. Please enter the current time. Oh, I don't know what time it is. It's not a.m. It's five. Why does it need to know the time? That's scary. It is 5.34 p.m. This is, did they do this last time? This is creepy. <laughs> no, actually. Accessibility settings can be accessed in the main menu. All right. Thank you for that. Whoa. Ah! A little loud. Hi! Hello! Welcome to stream! Playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. The Stanley Parable's back. One of the first variety streams I ever did, and it's back. Ah, I'm so excited. Welcome to stream, bud. 
Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna turn these down just a bit just so we can make sure to hear the narrator because I remember last time that was a bit of an issue I couldn't hear the narrator very well oh yeah this is all fine I guess are you ready chat well I'm ready so I'm going anyways <laughs> this is the story of a man named Stanley oh really I didn't know. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee I'm blind. 37. Employee number 37's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 37 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor. This is going to blind me, God. <laughs> telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and the new order. Mm -hmm. This is what employee 37 did every day of every month of every Although others might have considered it soul-draining, Stanley relished every moment of the order's new arrival. Uh -huh. Though he had been made exemplary by his superiors, Stanley was satisfied. And then one day, something very peculiar. Hooray! Oh. Something that would forever change. Oh no! I wonder what that something is. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor oh no no one had showed up to give him i wonder why call a meeting or even say hi never in all his years at the company had this happened this complete isolation something was very clearly wrong shocked frozen solid stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time but as he came to his wits and regained his senses he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Now the game starts. Before, I want to make sure. Was the volume loud enough or does it need to be louder? <laughs> and I just made the on make sure. Could, uh, could you hear the narrator alright? Or does it need to be a bit louder? I just want to make sure because I remember last time I struggled with the volume on this specific game a bit. Maybe a bit louder. Okay. I figured, because last time it was a bit hard to figure out <laughs> the volume for it. But if there's ever any problem, just tell me to turn it up or down, and I will. Uh, I'm going to go through the normal route, if I re can remember it. Whoa. Uh, I think the movement's a bit different. That's interesting. I'm gonna try and go to the normal route for anyone who hasn't seen it though. All of his co-workers though. were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go what to the meeting mean? room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh. Sorry for pausing again. I gotta turn down the sensitivity, but is there a sensitivity thing? There's not. Oh, that. Oh yeah, there is. Turn it down just a bit, maybe. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, I didn't ask it. <laughs> we skipped past this. We skipped past this. We already did this. My bad. That's a little bit better. My bad. All of this co- Oh, please. Are you really just doing this for the achievement? What? Click a door five times. Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, no, I, no, I, no, no. I wasn't. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. A measly five clicks. Now, suppose you were to click the door 20 times. Oh. I would say that's the kind of effort that warrants recognition. Oh, it's my phone. This is like the exact. Uh, this is the exact same phone I have in my room. <laughs> you say click it twenty times. I'm not counting. Mm. I have to say I'm still not feeling the satisfaction of witnessing true effort for a noble cause. Bruh. Perhaps fifty clicks will do it. Yes, almost certainly fifty clicks. Had to be 50. Surely. No, no, I'm, I'm still not feeling. Ah! 
I want this achievement to have meant something. It has to be a, a true reward for valiant effort. I want to see some hustle, Stanley. I want to see commitment, a willingness to go all the way, no matter what the cost. I wasn't trying to do this in the third place. Why don't you go 20 clicks into door number 417? 417? I didn't hear how many clicks he said, whatever. 417. 417. Where's 417? I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare Ooh, here. Great. Now, go click a few times on door 437. Where's 437? Does that door just open? Excellent. I think we're getting somewhere. Bruh. Now, door 415. Let's I hate you. So. I think I'm gonna get jump scared. There's not really that many jump scares in the original, but I'm I'm scared. Now back to door number four three seven. You. Which one did he say? Four three seven. Let's see. How about you click on? Well, I don't know. The copy machine. All right. Back to room four one seven. I'm really feeling you. it now. I think we're getting somewhere. Okay, now go climb on employee 419's desk. 419. Where's 419? Help! I hate this! 419. Where is 419? Where's 419? Four one nine. Where? I was loading things in. Oh, where? If I go in there, it starts another route, and I kind of want to see what happens if I finish this. Oh wait, four one eight. Oh no, get me up here. Oh, thank you, Cassie Coin, for the follow. For some reason, my mind thought that was. A <laughs> for some reason, I thought that was in the game. Uh, I just realized. Uh, my alerts are on the wrong side. Whoops. I think that's in the right side now. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the follow. Welcome to stream. Okay, how do I climb up here again? I don't remember. How? How? Dude. You can't jump. Seriously, we disabled it. Okay, thanks for telling me that Steam achievements. How do I climb up here? Yes! This is great! You're putting it all on the line, Stanley. I like that. All right, let's keep it up. Go give me a few clicks on door 416. Where is this guy? I'm with... Let's fight, bro. We've almost got it! Now the copy machine! Oh, Do that God. one again! Where is the copy machine? It's all the way back here. I hate you! Finish it up, Stanley! What do you mean? Five clicks on door four, three, One, zero. two, three, four, yes! five. Yes! Yes! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. <laughs> oh, you really earned it, Stanley. Nothing could hold you back. Yes, I'm I got the achievement for clicking for done today. door Just think, 430, only a few 430 ago, You believed an achievement was worth five little clicks. Really, now, what were you thinking? Uh... Narrator is always excited about clicking on doors for real. You're making me do all this stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna do the actual route. Because that wasn't really a route, that was just an achievement thing. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Hmm. We're gonna do the normal one first. Oh, they changed Yet, there Did they change it? There was a single person here either. It's Feeling different a wave in here. Of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer I think, there. I think there used to be stuff over there, more stuff. The broom closet. It's the exact same. Okay. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. We're going upstairs. Doop -da -doop. The office. 
Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh no! Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it no. an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply oh, wow. pushing random buttons How would I do that? Stanley Whoa. happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. I wonder how that I knew that. That's he crazy. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. That's crazy, right? Ah, oh, the elevator. Oh, whoa. I don't think it looked like this before, did it? Or am I just misremembering? Descending oh, I missed... Okay, building, I'm thinking of the other Stanley elevator. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred to him. Mm, I don't know, man. This question would not go unanswered for long. Have you played this before? I've played the original Stanley Parable. Today we're revisiting. I played the original Stanley Parable on stream, and today we're playing the Ultra Deluxe, which is the re release with a ton more content and uh, like a lot of stuff I don't know about. I've purposely not. <laughs> Looked that much stuff about the Ultra Deluxe. Version. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder where this could lead, guys. <laughs> do, 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 do. Big button. The lights rose Whoa. on an enormous room packed with television screens. <laughs> What horrible secret did this place hold? Oh, Stanley no. thought to himself. I wonder. Did he have the strength to find out? <laughs> Big button. Now the monitors jumped Whoa. to life. Their true nature revealed. I'm Each bore the number of an employee what in the building. Thing? Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Why is that one messed up? I can't see it. That one's glitched. That's weird. Big button. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Oh no. Could it be? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire Whoa. life utterly blind to the world? I mean, he's behind him with his legs, man. Like, <laughs> but here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy, or sad, or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power There's over another human there. life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Whoa, this lo this looks so cool. The first one looks cool, but this I'm pretty sure this is like this is definitely redone. This is so cool. Hmm, which one do we put, guys? Hmm. Okay. Mind control system. Okay. Stop. Jeez, that was loud. Jeez, man. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He 
had won. He had defeated the machine. No unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Is it still so pretty? Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let it's go. It's blinding me, but it's so pretty. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Wow. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. I'm waiting for this thing to go down. <laughs> Stanley felt the cool Ooh. breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> Bye, Sphinx. The end of the stream got no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Eight. Wait for it. We start again! We start again! Okay. Alright. Okay, now we've done the basic one. I don't know if I'm gonna go through if, uh, I'm probably gonna run into some of the routes that I did in the first time, but I also Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Stanley simply I didn't couldn't mean to do that. handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? I didn't mean to do that. He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Oh, to wait. Nothing will okay. hurt me. Nothing will break me. Oh, yeah. In here, I can be happy forever. Sure. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Oh, okay. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Mm -hmm. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. Mm -hmm. He will be told what to do. Yeah. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. It'll Here happen. it comes. Alright. I'm probably gonna end up running into some of the same achievements or some of the same uh, All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Roots. Stanley decided to go to the meeting. Well, the first Perhaps time I played, but there is so much new content. No matter how hard in the, Stanley looked, in this he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. Hey, there's so <laughs> I never know whether to wait for him to talk or not, just so that way I don't know if I can read her as well. But uh, I'll probably run into some of the same stuff, but there's so much new content that I have no idea about. And I don't even know if I'll get through it all in the stream, because there's just so much. It's insane. So I'm kind of going to be looking around for some new things, if I can find them, but... Whoa. When Stanley came to a set of two open hmm. doors, he entered the door on his left. Nah. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. Mm -hmm. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully Let constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, oh drinking drink. it all in. It's awful. Can't get a drink. Can I get a coffee? Yes. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, 
Here you sit looking at these <laughs> chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. Yeah, it is, really. It really is. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Do not lie. If you were lying, Stanley was stop. so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years advice, ago. such good advice, guys. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Key card. Can I get a key card somewhere? I don't know if that's a thing. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. You're not? I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Mm. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Oh, what? Oh, who? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Her? She's been waiting. Who is this her? The thing? Oh, well, this is Stanley. Mmm, pitch black hallway. Love to see it. Oh, no. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Ah! <laughs> flashbang! This is worse than Mori. All the flashbang. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, please. Let me Sorry to keep you waiting. Let me run! Let me run! Oh, right. Let okay, me run! All right now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Oh, oh. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who wanted Maybe. to make their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see Excuse me something. Me? Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on. Here. I want people to have a wife. You don't know. You don't know, dude. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Oh. <laughs> Press I on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. <laughs> he has a job that demands nothing I of him. Had a line. And you every don't know that. he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Me, I know. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. I mean, now he's pushing a button. Now. He's eating lunch. Now, he's going home. Now, he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Wow. What if I don't? What if, what, what if I don't? What if I just don't press it? What, what if I press... Oh. I guess that's me. But okay. okay. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk... Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. That is a tiny Fantastic bed, my God. discoveries of new lands. You live like that. It was wonderful. And each day that yeah. he returned to work you look too was a tall reminder for that, that bed, none of you know? it would ever happen to him. I was not paying attention to and what so he, he did. began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. Oh. The thought excited him terribly. I mean, I wouldn't call that an exciting... So, <laughs> he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. Oh. The mere thought that his decisions would mean Can something was Actually, almost I... too wonderful to behold. Somebody needs to clean that sink, didn't they? As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Mm -hmm. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. Oh. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. A game with the what? 
It was such a wonderful fantasy. Do I want to know so what instead, that? He relived it again. Do I want to have time again, to this? And again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end. Uh, am I going to become a dad? Is that what I have? Free. Surely there's that, an answer down some new path. That's the new plot to this game. Be? Perhaps Family's if he played just one more time. No way. But there is no answer. Oh. How could there possibly be? In my reality, wall! all he's doing is pushing the same buttons they each one of his house. Nothing has changed. How could they the do longer that? he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. And I'm trying to tell him this, that in this world he can never be anything but an observer, that as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. Oh. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Oh. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay. Wait, aren't I listening to what he said? If I don't do it, aren't I still listening to and doing what I'm being told to do? Press any button but L. I don't think it's working, guys. Okay. okay. You see? Can he just not hear me? Bruh! I did not tell him in a way that he'll understand that every I second did it. he remains oh. here, he's um. electing to kill himself. How can I get him to see what I see? I did what you told me to do! I don't know what... To question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. Mm. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. You must. Perhaps. Well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. What? And I tried again. Excuse me? And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. This game just sent me a death <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know why that made me laugh so much, just that message in bold text on the screen. <laughs> okay, hold on chat, we're done. I'm bad chat, okay. You. Alright. All of his co-workers were gone. What do I what want to do mean? now? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nah. I don't want to. I mean here. Can't go in there. I hate Mondays. Hey Garfield. New content. <gasps> Guys. I think this might be new content. Oh. New content? What does that mean? New content. New content? Guys, I think there might be new content in here. No way. Oh, I'm curious. Gah. There's new content. Oh. Hello, and thank you for playing oh. the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Wow. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 <laughs> with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining oh. of the game for consoles and home computers. Whoa. The Stanley Crazy. Parable Ultra Deluxe <laughs> features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, Whoa. delighting audiences the world over. New Please, content. Step inside and see what thrilling new Sorry, adventures await in <laughs> the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh well, this sounds delightful. That sounds like I'm the guy. I'm very excited to see the thrilling that way, that new way. Ultra Deluxe content. Oh, that way. Okay. 
That's not like the guy in like all over the speakers on like the pizza in the pizza plex in security breach. Do you guys know who I'm talking about? Okay, so far I don't know if it's the same order. person or not, but that's Nothing all I heard. special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. I'm sure. Let me go down. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we, should we be moving somewhere or, or oh, there we go. Oh. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. Woo! I've never been more ready. Let's do it. 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 Go, go, go. Hmm. Hmm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, mostly tedious. Mm. It's as if them. Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Give me the content. Give me the content. All right. All right. Let's see. It's the jump circle. We can jump. We can't jump very high, can we? Oh, we can only jump in the circle. Oh, this is great. This is all the new content we needed. We're really bad at jumping, aren't we? Oh, this is wonderful. Keep going. Come on, Stanley. Three, two, one. Happy New Year. Oh. Oh. Well. That's a... Is, is that it? It's a bit awkward. Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Woo! Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. Mm. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? I mean, if I was pretty entertained content, by jumping. Then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. And if... Oh, wait. There's more. Oh? Very good. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. This? Well, that doesn't look worrying at all. <laughs> That's it? Oh, you've got to be kidding me, you see, Stanley? This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make ah, an easy I know, dollar. Right? And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. Ah. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. <laughs> the quality Assurance Department signed off on this. I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Oh, it's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation around the new content, I'm afraid. It could I never have lived up to such expectations. I take back every bad thing I've said. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game? No. And we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. Aww. No frills. No gimmicks. Just you and me having a great time together like always. What do you say, friend? Ah, didn't you give me a choice, man? What? Well, this isn't right. This just isn't right. I. Psst. Whoa! Stanley. What? Come over here, in the vent. In the vent? I want to show you something. What? OMG, we're in the vent. Why are we in the vent? Why am I venting? Why am I in the vent? I love I had no hesitation to follow a random okay. voice. Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it mm -hmm. got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. 
So I made something special. What? Oh my god, my computer is dying trying to load this in. Just our little secret. Take a look. My frames! <laughs> my frames! Oh my god! My OBS even the frames, I'm like, oh my god, they're dying! <laughs> what? What? I call it the memory zone. What? It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak that experiences of my life whenever I want. Uh oh. I froze. Um. Experiences <laughs> like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. It's so hard to load this in. What? Whoa! What? Uh oh. Uh. Zone, sweet zone. You see, Stanley, doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re-release? Remember back in October of 2013, when the game originally launched? Aww. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. Aww, cute. Oh, the waste. This kid's the first card. I really like the card. It's terrible. That's amazing. This looks like something I'd see on Facebook. That's incredible. Stanley Parable Collector's Edition Audience Award <laughs> It never says The Last of Us, what do you mean? That always says Stanley Parable. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Let's see it again. Oh, this is actually cute. Oh, that... I don't think I was meant to see that. That's cute. Trip down memory lane. Smile because it happened. A dollar. I don't think I was supposed to see that. Uh. Oh, the. Something's not loading in, dude. <laughs> Go outside. Don't play for five years. High fuel. It's impossible to get this achievement. Yeah, I feel like something was supposed to be here. My bad, dude. What is this? And over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of Who's game singing? journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games end up less than any form of art, <laughs> Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. <laughs> Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now <laughs> it's nothing. Oh no! It's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just oh, no. a husk now. A lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Oh. Wait, which way do we go? Memory zone maintenance. The original remake. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising, and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. Oh. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Oh. 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 <sighs> These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait. Hang on. 
I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's Everything here? froze. Alright, there it goes. Everything froze on my screen. Let me have a drink! Give me a drink! Okay. Oh my god, my frames! Okay. My frames! Oh no. Oh god, no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online video game distributor. <laughs> I haven't looked at these in years. Oh no! I can't even imagine what's being collected down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Honestly, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. Yikes. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Yikes! Funny. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh. Okay, let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy? Stanley, I'm not preachy, am I? You wouldn't tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh, goodness. This is actually quite shocking for me. Yikes. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. <laughs> you can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... <laughs> well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh. Yeah. What an awful memory to have to hold on to. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. I feel like a failure. Like I let these people down. Perhaps the Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remembered. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. I wish there was a skip button. A skip Yikes. button? Well, well, yes. Yes, I think we can do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive uh -oh. reviews of the uh -oh. Stanley That's my motto today, and it's always uh -oh. been my motto. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Uh oh. And here it is. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you, with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past. Oh, you're back, you see? You were only frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy rumination. <laughs> well there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start to go off on a thoughtless display of self-absorption, it's right at your finger. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, I should say that the amount of time the button has been skipping through is becoming oh, longer on. and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes. What? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, it's really... Do Stanley, it again. Stanley, 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 please don't push the button again. It's been 12 hours. 12 hours? You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's yeah, I've noticed. Gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no yeah, door, gone. Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. I have no idea how long I'll be made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. <laughs> oh, Stanley, you're back. Oh, no. You're back. Oh, my goodness. I have someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Oh, skip. I don't like that. That was creepy.
Oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. Oh, this I've looks so creepy. So much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. A year? I sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year. Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only the turning wheel of missed opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest time, Stanley. Days, months. I lost it all in a blur of the deepest longing to undo the past. And when that feeling had begun to subside, what took its place is what I can only describe as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, we're alone. Oh God, are we alone? No, no, no. I hate that. I hate that. Let me push the button, please. I hate that. But they didn't understand. The game was never meant to be funny. It was meant to have a point. It was meant to speak to the human condition. Oh, are we back? But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned. They screamed. They gnashed their teeth and said, entertain us. It wasn't. We're not back. She's going crazy. I hate that. Get me out. End is never the 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 Gimme out, gimme out, gimme out. The why the clock fall? Gimme out, gimme out, gimme out. Give me out, 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 give me What? Huh? Oh, I hate this. 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 I I, I, I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> Oh god, the button broke. Oh god. Why are we in a desert? Why am I in a desert? Get me out. These smudges over there. Get me out. nothing out here oh yo oh my god that was the worst one so far. From that, from that, oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like the button. I didn't like the button. <laughs> that was the worst and best at the same time. That was, oh. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stan had decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Perhaps. That actually, like, got me. Oh, new, new content. Oh, good. You noticed my sign. Yes, I have something I very exciting here. to show you. 
Why can't I go back there? Alright, whatever. New, new content! Double new content! Alright, real quick, I am gonna pause this. Uh, Sorry, I'm doing a going live tweet just so people know I'm going live. Alright, right, yeah. I'm still typing. <laughs> Whoa. New content, new content, new content. Oh yeah, uh, by the way, I forgot to say, uh, I'm only three away from Solar Goal. That's super cool. Thank you guys. I meant to say it <laughs> at the last ball and I totally forgot I got distracted. So thank you guys so you much. See, Stanley, only three away. I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable. And about uh -huh. how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. Uh -huh. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I oh. say we take it one step even further. Whoa. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever Yo. the Stanley Parable 2. Stanley Parable 2. Yo! Yo! Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why are there so many ones. possibilities? Oh. It could go in so many different Testing directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. <gasps> Taste the sequel. Let me have a drink! Why don't they let me have drinks? This is mean. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic no. statement right there. It's future oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long term franchising potential. New content is out. New content part two is in. <laughs> the color red. Logo ideas. <laughs> Thanks for attending my meeting. That one below is stupid. Wait, that's a, that's another. Okay, I got the joke for a second. It took me a minute. I was like, that looks really familiar. That looks cool. Oh, okay. That took me longer than it should have. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be. Yeah. But let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting <laughs> concepts, <laughs> that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game no. development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Where's the show floor? Yo! New features. New content. Yo! Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yo! Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. What? Hey. Right. Uh, the button says the name of the player that is playing the- Hear your name in the game. Is this gonna dox me? For the Stanley Parable 2, I ask myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with uh, that in mind, my first really. addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. Isn't that wonderful? This docs is me. Jim. That. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here, 
Let's have you role play as Jim to uh -huh. really simulate the full okay. experience of this feature. I got this. Just play along. I promise you'll okay. love it. Fine. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep <gasps> breath, clear your mind, forget who the you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay, I, I, I am want Jim. you to imagine yourself okay, living right, as Jim, right sleeping and waking as Jim, falling in love and being heartbroken as Jim, oh. seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Oh. Do you feel of it course. deeply? Are you really, truly Jim I'm right Jim. now? If so, then please step forward and press the button. I've got this, guys. I'm Jim. Jim. <laughs> oh my it's, god! You see? What a thrill! What a rush! That was you! That the was button me. described you! Do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Oh! Jim! Oh. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would still be worth the money. Go! Let's take a break from the gym Don't. button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal oh, I know. Oh, that's incredible. I know. Oh, my God. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. Oh. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. I want to wait to go in there. I feel like that... For later... Who's that? Merch! I saw the new content! Merch! This t-shirt is the best new feature. Ah, it's wonderful. The reassurance bucket. I don't- that- that's a very tall... I'm- I'm scared I'm gonna go into one thing and it's gonna, like, Kick me out of here. I'm not gonna be able to look at the rest. Please, no screenshots. Wanna bet? <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna go in here. Okay, I'll be honest. I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration. Like balloons. Happy 12th but I've undecided Stephanie. on get well, well someday. someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? You know, sometimes when you Who solicit you? another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. <laughs> get well someday, it is. Or actually, Whoa. maybe I should have gone with. No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. New and easy achievement. Yo. Pull the lever. Receive your new achievement. No more steps. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever and when you pull... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is Aww. still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. To at last mm -hmm. satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world... I don't believe you. ...who have been uproariously demanding this feature. I don't hey, believe Mouse, you. We hear you, and I promise it will happen. There's nothing down there. I don't believe you. You're giving me false hope for free achievement. What else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, I need to go back down in here. The jump circle! Oh, it's gone! I already used that all. The button that says gym. Okay, I'm gonna go... Was it down there? Where I was about? No, it's up here. I wish they would have, like, a sign saying just, like, uh, if it was gonna end it there or not. Okay, I'm worried I'm gonna go through one of these and it's not gonna let me out. That's a very long hallway. I'm pretty sure that is important, so I'm gonna wait. <laughs> Cause I wanna see all the exits. Okay, well, oh, it's locked off. Can you find them? Can you find- Whoa! Ah, collectibles. 
Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. Oh. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unusual <laughs> life. Oh. There's six. Okay, I gotta get these. I, I, I gotta get these. Collect them all. I will. This is my one oh, life really goal. It is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely Infinite hole. tragic. Don't think that's a very good idea. That's new. I'm gonna go look for the bucket thing. I wanna see what that is. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. There's nothing well, there. I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the oh. Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You see, Stanley, any time you're bucket. holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps... Even Let me have it. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? <laughs> yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. It is? Come on, give it a try. Give it a try, give it a try. Can you feel it? The glow Fuck of it. comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in Let me fact, out. can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as uh, well? Thank I you. think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more uh, accepted as a person. Thank you. Uh. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. Ah, uh, this is fantastic i have a bucket does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game they should that really should be an award if it isn't already it should so true dude and that's a lot would be a bit fun wouldn't it stanley yes yes it will go at the end of the um uh, well we'll figure that out later <laughs> that's it <laughs> Okay, um, settings, world, champion, infinite hole, okay, which, I'm gonna go up here. I can't even go up here, okay. Ah! I'm gonna take my bucket! Go into the infinite hole. No screenshots, please. Oh, they're down here, okay. Look at my white gun. Whole entrance to infinity. Oh, incredible. Stanley, Whoa. here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a video game. This is, in fact, a hole that you can fall down forever. Yo. That's right. Infinite falling. Infinite you hole. can fall until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games as a medium. Just gonna take a quick look around here. Okay. So do I just, uh... Do I just jump in? Is that what... Whee! Got my bucket! Whee! You see? Isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. <laughs> now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, 
you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Z to return to the surface. Great. What? Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for Woo! the sequel. Okay, and I guess we're back in the hole now. <laughs> Did you really need to see it again? Yeah. I don't know what else there is to say, Stanley. It's an infinite O. It's exactly what you're doing right now, but forever. There really are so many other fascinating exhibits that I've prepared for you. I really spent quite a lot of time on all this, and I would very much like to show you some more of them. How about we go ahead? And press that teleport button again, so we can get back to what's really important about. What? What? Oh, goodness. Liar! Well, this is rather embarrassing, Stanley. I'll be honest with you. I truly did not believe that anyone would actually stay in the hole long enough to hit the bottom. Yes, I know. I told you the hole was infinite, but come what? on. Who actually wants to fall forever? The hole was plenty deep. There was more than <laughs> deep enough, in my opinion. Maybe it's you who likes falling too much. Maybe you're the problem. <sighs> Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the hole mostly infinite? <laughs> if that works for you, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. Whee! The problem is you. Hey! The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I yeah, can't help but feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively Whee! thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. Uh, if guess. this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Oh, definitely yes. shorter. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Yeah, I've noticed that too. I suspect that I'm hmm. starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley... I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top, and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Yeah! Well, there it is. Oh. The shame of my lie has come to haunt me. Not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole it's at like this point. It's like a hot point. tub. It's <laughs> more of a concavity, or even a very aggressive divot. Should I jump in? Like, How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Hmm. Uh, is the um, teleport button not working? You sure? Narrator? Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. No, right I out. suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. No. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. No, it's right a out. win for everyone. You get to be with the hole, I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity. No, right out. Please. 
Fuck it. No. Ah. Oh god. This is it. This is the end. This is the end for Stanley. No! No! Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Change your perspective. What? What? Puppies! Now watch the puppies! I'm not changing it after this. Puppy! Whoa. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want no! you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep no! you really, truly focused on the hole? From the looks of things, no! you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. No! Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. No! <laughs> no! Can we go to start going again? Do I actually have to, like. Oh, okay, wait. I was gonna ask if I have to restart, but I didn't even do it. Oh, we're back here! Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. Door. Can't open it. Where was I gonna go? Like, where else is there? Upstairs. Okay, that's still locked. Hmm. That's new. Did I go in there? I don't remember. Oh wait, the exit, duh. Mostly infinite hole. <laughs> they changed it. Wait, is the exit blocked off? Or do I have to go up here? Exit, okay. Do do do. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Yep. Ready to move on now? Yep. Whoa. No screenshots. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Sure. Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Definitely. Say, let's do an experiment. Oh. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not 
it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yep. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Hooray! Oh. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's Yikes. sort of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Give me this one. This one. Here we go. Version 2. Uh, who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. Yeah, they no, no. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Okay, Peacefully, of course. With of respect. Course. With care for the vision and integrity Wait, of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. Uh, what? Wait, that actually looks so cool. What? Okay. I do need to do something real quick, so I'm gonna let it sit on the screen for just a second, but let me message someone real quick. Sorry, chat, hold on just a second. Tweet that, whatever. Uh, let's send a reply to my message, please. All right, hold on, chat. Um, put this here. I will be right back. I'm so sorry. It'll be like two seconds or two minutes more accurately. Yeah, I'll be right back.
wait, wait, why is I was an easier way of doing this? Uh, 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 there we go. Alright. <laughs> Sorry, Jet! I had to go try something. But that title screen looks so cool. What? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big the building agent. where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him Whoa. through a monitor at the desk, telling him what buttons to push, never heard how this long before. to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Okay. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh, really? Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we go! The lens. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Bucket! Stanley picked up the bucket. Oh, wait, why would I go around there? What? That's new. Stanley pressed the bucket upon every little thing in the office. <laughs> Nothing responded to the bucket's touch, but it did little to discourage Stanley's belief in the magic of the bucket. Magic bucket! Magic bucket! Okay. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Mm, no. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Give me a drink! Was this better than Let the me have a room? drink! Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. So true. No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Ah, uh, no. Oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> no, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere no. else. The cargo lift. Yes, go there. Go to the cargo lift. Go to the cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. No, wait. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. Do but I want to go up there and then there? not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No. Danger everywhere. Okay. No, stop. Look there on the wall. You see, there's a sign right there. No it bucket. says, no buckets past this point. Oh. Stanley, how could you think it was okay to bring the bucket here? I didn't know. Unless, what if the problem is that you actually don't know what is a bucket and what isn't a bucket? I suppose that would explain a lot about your behavior up to this point. Which, if that's true, well, my goodness, I think we have to do something about it. This misunderstanding what? could have dire consequences on the entire rest of the game if not addressed quickly and properly. So much of the impact of the story is dependent on your understanding of what is and isn't a bucket. Please, step in here for a moment. Huh?
Hello. <laughs> now then, I'm going to run you through some test scenarios and you'll tell me whether or not the thing I'm showing you is a bucket. Oh god. Simply enough, right? This should tell us everything we'll ever need to know about what is or is not. We're putting a me bucket. out of game, so <laughs> Okay, let's begin. <laughs> Item one. Is this a bucket? Yes. Incorrect. It is a hologram of a bucket, not an actual bucket. Bruh. Item two. Is this a bucket? Incorrect. It is a 3D printed recreation of a bucket, not an actual bucket. That's still a bucket! Item three. Is this a bucket? No, it's not. None of them are buckets. Incorrect. This is a bucket. Okay. Item four. Is this a bucket? What? Yes, this is a bucket. Mm -hmm. Are you hallucinating? This is a tractor. No, it's, it's a bucket. What are you talking about? That is a, obviously a, a bucket. How on earth did you manage to screw it up? Absolutely incredible. That is a bucket. Let's just I don't, move I don't on know what to the you're talking one. about. That was the easiest one. It's so obviously a bucket, narrator. Is this a bucket? Yes. That, yeah, that's definitely a bucket. Definitely. Correct. <laughs> this is a bucket. <laughs> See, it's a bucket. I told you guys. You think I'm crazy. It's a bucket. Item six. <laughs> is this a bucket? No, it doesn't really look like one. Not really, no. Trick question. Both. What do you mean? Gotcha. Both? What does both mean? It's a yes or a no. Item, wait, hold on, I can't find the next one. Oh. Let me see, it should be around here somewhere. That's awkward. Man, get the stage manager in here. What? Yes. Okay, you and I both know there isn't anything here. And I don't appreciate the implication that nothing is a bucket when we both clearly know that a bucket is something. And therefore, nothing could possibly be something. Unless, in your twisted mind, have you somehow convinced yourself that a bucket is nothing? I, I mean... Answer me uh, straight, Stanley. What? Do you believe that nothing is a bucket? <laughs> you know what? I'm too confused to even yeah. sort it out. I've lost all sense of perspective. What is a bucket? What isn't a bucket? Mere moments ago, Everything I could answer these questions oh, with about. confidence. And yet now, I'm somewhat adrift. Do any of us know what a bucket is? Am I a bucket? Are you a bucket? Are Stanley, you? I can't keep doing this. Oh my I'm God, losing are, myself, oh, and myself oh, was all oh, I ever no, had not. to begin with. You're not the bucket, dude. I'm afraid the bucket is threatening to tear our relationship apart. Huh? I can't have that. I'm sorry, but I'm going to erase all buckets from no! the game entirely. You can't do that. Okay, here we go. What happened? Is everything gone? Why did everything disappear? Wait, was everything a bucket? Every, Every single thing in the game was a bucket. Oh my god, I had no idea. How could... Except Nobody me. listen to me. I, I'm not a bucket after all. And you, Stanley, you're still here. You're Nobody not a bucket either. <laughs> oh, this is wonderful news. We're not buckets. Yes, I actually feel much more at ease right now. It's delightful to get some clarity on that issue. Oh, but wait, it doesn't you bring the bucket the back? That we haven't got a game. So, tell you what, I'll reset everything. Give me the we'll bucket. We'll back all of the buckets. Okay? Yeah. And we'll know that it's all a bucket. Great. But if you run into anyone else, maybe don't mention that. Who knows what that information might do to a person. All right, here we go. Oh, well, this isn't right. Bucket! Stanley lifted the bucket into his arms, and a wave of comfort rushed over it. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Now, see what happens this when This was go not the correct way, way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him. 
telling him that the employee lounge was too secret. I got my bucket. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Ba -ba 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 Stanley took the door on his left. He went back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go no. somewhere else. The cargo lift. Good, said the bucket. Good. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. Okay. There's something up there I need you to do. Well, there. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him. He and did. he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. Let's go a little bit faster. Thank you. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed blindly. What dark room? Oh, that one. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. Bucket! Hello, Stanley. It's me, your bucket. Press Q to take me to work with you. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't bucket! literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Press D to take me back home with you. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you bucket! be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Best be to go back to work. Oh, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it will ever I truly do bucket. for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. Don't listen to the loud man. Press one, or press I for us to go back home. <sighs> you see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. Bucket, bucket! You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is his awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. Press R to ignore anyone in your life except for me. All right! It's sad. Bucket! I suppose he doesn't need me bucket? anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket, this cold, empty bucket, this sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. It really does. You believe I'm real, don't you, Stanley? Press Y to go back home. Yes, I suppose on bucket? closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average bucket? hardware bucket. store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Or do you live the same day with me over and over? Of course! Oh my bucket? god, what am I bucket. Better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? It's time to go... Press, press M to go home, to work, to home, to work, to home. Oh no, I'm, I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do what? anything it asks. What's wrong bucket! with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps if I had the bucket, this would be less what confusing. Time is it? Yes. 13. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome bucket! situation. Bucket! Stanley, Stanley give me the bucket. No. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. No. I need it. Give it to me now. No. It, or Close I'll... your eyes. Go back to work, Stanley. Bucket. Where's my bucket? Bucket. 
Boy. Bucket? No! All of his co-workers were gone. Where's my bucket? What did it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Where's my bucket? Where's my bucket? Bring me back my bucket. Where's my bucket? When Stanley came to a set of two open Where's my doors, bucket? he entered the door on his left. My bucket. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to it. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, my bucket but there was here. nothing here. So he turned around and got back on track. No, my bucket. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to I'm follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Where's my bucket? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Where is my bucket? Principal! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. All right. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So... I implore you to savor each and every uh. moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. It's gorgeous, truly. Oh no, not this ending. No. Okay, never mind. I don't want to do this ending. Unless my bucket is gone. Unless. Unless! But Stanley just couldn't do it. My bucket? He considered bucket? the possibility of facing his boss. Bucket? Admitting he had left his post during work hours. Bucket? Oh no, my bucket's not down here. And bucket? in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Bucket? All because oh, no. he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Bucket? And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, Maybe I am crazy. No, I'm not. All of my co workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked <gasps> down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! I'm dreaming! Yeah. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Stanley felt, to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Wow! Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it too appeared. It was so wow. much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Yeah. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, surely if he could just...
He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife <laughs> and my job. All I want is my yeah, life my exactly the way it's what always my been. Wife? My life is normal. I am normal. Everything mm. will be fine. I am okay. Uh oh. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. boss I have an office. office. I, I am, am real. real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I, I must be real. real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted Yikes. by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. She still doesn't call an ambulance! How? She still doesn't call an ambulance! What? Fuck it? Already this was uncomfortable, and Stanley decided that as soon as he found a new space he felt safe in, that he would never leave it again in his life. Oh. Meeting today. Figurine finder coming in the meeting room. <gasps> meeting room! Fuck it! The confusion and the chaos all seemed to melt away as Stanley embraced the bucket. I gotta go to the meeting room. That's this way. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. I get to the meeting room. How can we find them? Bottom check. Trust the completion of what we know appeared across the office. Many questions and remember what the man is doing. We can tell far as one message from Paul Mayor if he took some pictures of them. There will be a reward for finding them all. What's that written with? Figures are hard to find. Follow clues provided by the We can do it. Red room. Red room? So, like, the off- like, the- Thank you, good luck. That- the red room would be... Um... Oh, okay, wait. Right here. A large room, lots of boxes. Somewhere with both red and blue. I know where that is. Nearby a fireplace. The boss's place. A private but smelly place for an important person. Welcome so much. Stop paying yourselves. There will be pain in the sky. Okay. So first... Coming to a staircase, 
Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Yeah, this office. is the boss's office. Yep, bathroom. Another miniature Stanley figurine. Woo! This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini Stan? Mini Stan? Stanley figs. Um, what about Stanlerines? Yes, I think I like that. Another Stanlerine under your belt. Okay. Now, fireplace. Oh, we didn't go down here yet. I'm guessing this is the fireplace down there. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed, but Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? The bucket! Was the bucket guiding him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. Where? Oh, here it is! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines. And now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. <laughs> what do you think, Stanley? What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense okay, the of happiness one... that you get from seeing a small Remember number in the corner of your blue. screen go up by one? Let me see. I don't know. Oh. I'm sure it will come to me. Well, now I go down here. And up. Do 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 do. The elevator raced downward plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if not for the bucket. The bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door Run! of red. Escape! Mind control Escape! facility. Although Run! this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley and the bucket would both meet a violent death. What? The door behind about. them was not shut. Stanley and the bucket still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Mm, At this point, about. Stanley and the Bucket were knowingly walking forward into a very painful death for each of them. The Bucket will protect me. The power of the Bucket. Whee! Oh. Yikes. Ow. Oh! Oh snap! Oh yeah, this thing. Oh yeah, I forgot about this As thing. The machine worded uh, in motion, and Stanley and the bucket inch closer to their demise. How about? Stanley how, reflected how, on how no, meaningless how the bucket's you, warmth how, and comfort how, no. had turned out to be. To be sure, uh, it puts uh, the uh, mind uh, and the soul at ease to embrace the bucket. No, how about you? Let me out. 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 This is what Stanley thought to himself. Let me out. 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 Let me out.
Can you see how arrogant it was for Stanley to take a bucket like this and to claim it for his own? Can you see the hubris that blinded him? Can you see that the bucket is far more noble than Stanley will ever be in his Whoa! Short life? No man can own a bucket, and certainly not a bucket as dazzling to behold as this one. It is man who should kneel before the bucket. Whoa, oh, that's right. Oh, that, that. But there is something we can do. Oh? Something we can do together, you and I, that will right this terrible wrong. No. Oh, let Stanley die. No. Let him be crushed by the machine. Don't reset the game. Don't give him another opportunity to run off with another no. beautiful bucket. We can save the world's buckets from their treatment as tools and implements if only we let Stanley die together. The bucket no. should take its place as ruler, as leader, as commander oh, of the new no. world. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Let me. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> Warmth spread through Stanley's arms. With the bucket, Stanley clutched the bucket tightly. Okay, to his this was not the correct way to the meeting room. But Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be nope. correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. No. Said the bucket. No. Don't go to the meeting room. Go oh, somewhere Oh wait, else. I shouldn't have taken the, the bucket. Lift. Yes, go there. Go to the car. I'm not gonna be lift. able to take the Good. bucket in Said there. The no. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. No. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. You're but right, Stanley right, chose not right. to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. No! No, stop! Look there on the wall, you see? There's a sign right there. It says no. Okay, I'm actually gonna begin the game again, because I actually didn't, I didn't mean to do that. That was my bad. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it this room? But eager to get back to business, okay. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nah. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. I know, that's what I'm saying. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not Maybe so that's why I don't have really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else is difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've and been neglecting, Stan. We. What? Really? Yeah. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Yeah. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you to show you something beautiful. All right, where oh, is this? Let me prove it. Let it is. me prove that I'm on your side. Woo! You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly one gotten more. all of the figure <laughs> and the reels. Okay, Very soon, what was the other one? Collect the, last the other clue. And then the Brick? first number will equal Red the Brick? second number, and that will be it. Is that what it was? We'll be different people by then. Different in the sense that we used to have hmm. none of them. And now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Lorenes. None of us can. 
Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked... All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? Yeah. You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. Uh-oh. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Yeah. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design. Yeah. And give me some feedback. Yeah. There we go. A third option. Let's go. This already oh. feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a... Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly, there's something here that speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rolling. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Oh wait, this isn't the old one. I remember. I seem to remember the leaderboard. <laughs> okay, I seem to remember that. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No. Nope. Again, honest answers, please. No, nope, not really. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game. Yeah, this I've been was working the old one. Okay, and now I remember. I mentioned it in the beginning. To give it some play testing. I didn't remember, you but now I remember. You would it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this case, no! the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. No, and if don't look at me like fire, that. You fail. It's a very don't meaningful look at me game. Like that. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. No! But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about no, four hours. I... So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh, I hate that noise. I can't keep doing that. I'm sorry, I hate the noise. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? He's fine. It's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. He's I'm fine. completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Oh. It's over. Thank oh. you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Oh, I remember Let's this see. too. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Aha! Fascinating. What, what do you think this? this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Wait, what game is hmm. this? I actually but don't know. But it seems know. obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Huh? Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Whoa, okay. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And the it seems even more. The Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Is that, that was not the right that was a door sound. That was a Minecraft door sound. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna go the other way. Do do do. Oh no. No, 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 it can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Woo! Good God, quickly block it off. No, no. Oh, thank goodness, Stanley. What a close call. You nearly wandered off into that, that thing. That big open, just wandering around. No right or wrong directions. No I path to follow. I you can just go in any... Ooh. Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let Let's find Let another me game. I can see. Preferably I can something see with the world. Let something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Textures are broken. What? Wonderful. See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's yeah. See. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. We shall run the bases and do a touchdown together. Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. Whoa. Go. Go. No, this way. Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought. And I realize Wait, I'm not a sportsologist. Then. But if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls oh. makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Whoa. Surely one of these goes in a bowl, right? Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? One goal. Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good time because guess what? It's over. No, That's no. That's right. Your little fun comes to an end. This is my game and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need someone like me to set boundaries for you. No! Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. Yes, that's what I am. I am structure. No! I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. Goodbye! I'm leaving. See how you'd like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Me, 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 me. I don't think you'll enjoy it as much, but who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. Yeah, After yeah. all, you're the one who knows best. Ugh. Take care, Stanley. All right, what are we doing now, chat? <laughs> Whee! Hold on. What are you doing? Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you oh. write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley. Well, uh, by the way, chat, after this uh, route or whatever you want to call it, um, I'm probably ending stream because it, it's been a little over two hours. And I, I might come back and... I'm going to play this game on my own for sure because I want to see if I can find more secrets. But I don't think I'm finding that collectible right now. 
just because it will take a while to go see the board and go and then, you know. Uh, eh. I will come back to it on stream most likely though, but there are some other games that I also want to play on stream. And I'm also just tired. <laughs> I was late to stream because I was tired and got up late and then, like, I was tired during stream, so. <laughs> And plus, it's like, uh, 8 o'clock, and I probably need to get dinner. I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> Hello? Is there any way out of here? Is it a maze? I hate this. <sighs> oh, light. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Do you see that? Whoa. Is there anything I can actually do here? That's cameras. I wonder what he found. What? If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and end it- Whoa. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, because it actually has been, like, a, it's been a little bit longer. I want to do more longer streams. I know this isn't necessarily a long stream, but I feel like I've been streaming more consistently. But I've also been doing shorter streams. And so, it's kind of like a one or the other for me, sadly, just to put in my schedule. Either is like, um, less streams, but longer streams, or it's shorter streams more often. And it's just like, I don't know. Uh, so hopefully I'll kind of even it out a bit more soon. But anyways, this was super fun. I never played Ultra Deluxe, and there is a lot more in this game, I'm pretty sure. So I definitely will try and do another stream on it if I can. Uh, this was super fun. I love this. I loved the first game, and I was so excited to get. I was so excited when I saw uh, the re-release was on, um, on sale on Steam. <laughs> so thank you so much to everyone who joined. Thank you for the follows. Uh, thank you for every everyone who was in chat and everything. It means a lot. Uh, I don't know when I'll be live next time, uh, but I'm excited because there's a few different games I want to play that I got, and I'm excited. But, uh, anyways, I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining the stream, and yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye! Bye-bye!